Hi guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today is June the 10th which means that the Premier League transfer window is now officially open. You can can go out and buy whatever player they desire. So today is a good day and the fun has only just begun. But anyway guys, as always you're new to the channel, make sure you head down there, hit that subscribe button. All the transfer news will come out on the channel and we've got some pretty big ones today. And as well as that, you can also get down there, smash a like button, I really do appreciate it. Hugo Ekateke got injured in his final tournament match yesterday for France. What does that mean for Newcastle's transfer now? There's quite a lot of complications that could actually come from that. And as well as that, Sven Botman's international tournament ends tomorrow. After that, he will make his move very quick to either Newcastle or AC Milan. Which one would he go to? Find out. But anyway though, uh, as you can see, I'm outside Mundabar in Benidorm. Pretty much this is just like a, a zoo where they get the likes of dolphins and sea lions and that. So I uh, thought while I'm here today, I might as well do the transfer news and the, the zoo at the same time because why not? But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the scenery and without further ado, let's go into all the news now. We're going to start off this video by talking about Newcastle it's pre-season because Craig Hope yesterday put out a tweet saying that Newcastle could actually go to Austria for a training camp, so a slight upgrade from York University last year, you could say. Now, once again, just like Lisbon, if Newcastle play anywhere where fans can attend, I will be flight to Austria and go there. It would be great to get around the world and watch Newcastle United, I feel like, uh, try and promote this football club. But there we are, there's heads up once again. Uh, if Newcastle do end up playing there, then I'll make sure to get myself down. But anyway, though, what do you guys think about Austria? Do you think it's a good place for Newcastle? I remember the Saudi Arabia trip after that Leeds performance. Newcastle came out and were just different fish when they returned. They just came back and just destroyed everyone. So if that gets the team going, then I'm 100% for the uh, pre-season journey. So Isaac Hayden, he was the first Newcastle player to leave the club this summer. And that's going to be something that you're going to have to keep an eye on because we've got a lot of long-serving players that need to leave the club. We can no longer rely on nostalgia. These players were booming in 2016 to get us back into the Premier League. They've done that, but it's 2022 and a lot of these players have passed on by. And there's still so many of them. Yeah, I can't believe how many of them have survived. So over the summer, there'll be a lot of players that'll be out the door. It's that simple. We cannot rely on some of these players anymore. We've got to be able to get with the players we don't need and bring in the ones we do need and especially Dan Ashford now the mastermind of being able to get the best attributes out of players while promoting to other football clubs he will just clear out honestly be like a hoover Henry Hoover just clear out all the players that's what he's here to do now uh, Freddie Woodman he's one that's been popping up quite a bit of a potential permanent move to Preston what, I mean Preston what a random team that is uh, personally for me though I actually don't agree with this one He's someone that I think would get better as he plays more. And he's never really had a proper opportunity to cast. He had a, a little bit of a spell last season, but he had the worst defence in the Premier League. Let's be honest, it was shocking at the start of the season. And Woodman's someone that needs to be able to build up over time. And I feel like pulling the trigger on him now is a bit too sudden, uh, especially for someone his age. So I would loan him out for one or two more seasons then make my decision on him. That's just my personal opinion. I would be more willing to sell Dollar because he's had consistent game time in the Premier League. I think last season especially, he's just underperformed. He hasn't lived up to the expectations he once had at the club. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. So he's one I would be more willing to sell. Cash in the moment, we've got a chance now and be able to uh, play out some room for another goalkeeper. Potentially, that's better. But that's just my opinion anyway. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens to this one. I think Preston's a really random team as well for Woodman. It's not really somewhere that's going to improve him. But again, that's just my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong on that. But anyway though, let me know your thoughts down below on that one. That's quite a strange one I've seen come out. Let's talk about the player that is set the sign for Newcastle United now, Hugo Ekateke. Because yesterday in his final international game against Mexico, disaster struck when he got injured four minutes into the game, pulled his hamstring. You couldn't write it. It's just typical Newcastle. This is the Newcastle of old. I can't believe he got injured in his last game. That's so unlucky. But it's actually creates quite a lot of problems now. Uh, the first thing we need to know is how long he's out for. Now, there's been no answer given on that yet, but it's extremely important to know the extent of the injury. If he's out long term, then it actually could result in Newcastle outright like, removing the deal now. This is his second hamstring problem this year as well, in 2022. So this is, again, could be a huge problem. We don't want to know our Callum Wilson where we're going to have a striker out for half the season. So Newcastle might actually just go, you know what, we're not willing to do it. We're going to walk away from the deal or... If it's not that sudden, there might be Newcastle going and saying, oh, well, listen, we've actually paid you 30 million to try and get this deal done. But listen, Hugo's out with an injury now, so we're going to cut down to 25 million. Might actually start negotiating more, which could upset the uh, league and club and outright 
cause some friction there. So it, it's a lot of speculation in terms of how Newcastle are going to approach the deal, but it does cause quite a few problems now. Would Newcastle be willing to go on for a player that's had two hamstring problems in the, the same year? And this one is that he could be out for the start of the season or long into the season, depending on the extent of the injury. So it depends how long he's out for. But that does raise some serious questions in Newcastle's case now. Do they still go on for him? I personally think the will, because Amanda Steve is not that sort of person. She's quite a nice woman. Uh, I'm sure she's not going to just ditch a 19-year-old because he got injured. I think we will be accepting to it, just depending on how serious the injury is, like I said before. But this one's uh, quite complex now. This one would no longer be as easy as, you know what, we've got to have his medical on Monday. Now, his agent was actually meant to come up to the castle on Monday. I don't know if he still will now because the club might just go, may just halt this situation. It's completely through a spanner in the works now. This actually could outright remove the deal. I don't think it will at this moment in time, but I could all change in a flash. It's really, really starting to tense up now in terms of Hugo Ekateke. So hopefully he's okay. That injury is nothing too serious. One thing I think every single Newcastle fan could agree is just how much Amanda Steele has changed the football club now. Speaking of the previous owner, actually, Derby County fans seem to be piping up Newcastle quite a bit at the minute, bigging up, mate, actually seeing how amazing of a job he did at the club. Saying that, well, he took us to the Premier League and he's been keeping us financially stable. I mean, well, he didn't take us to the Premier League. He sent us down twice. We were a Premier League team before he came in. So he sent us down. Then he brought us back up with the money we spent from selling all our players in the first place. So I don't get that point. And he didn't really keep us financially stable with the We were in the crap the full time. There's no ambition now. Admittedly, for Derby, they're in a completely different situation to us. And yes, I do actually think that in the short term, he would highly benefit Derby because... Otherwise, they'll have no money and they'll be liquidated like Boy was. So, yes, I think in the short term, we definitely save the club and keep them financially stable. But in the long term, no ambition, stagnated. That's all I can say, really. Let's move on to Botman now because his transfer saga continues between Newcastle and AC Milan. Now, one important thing to note, by the way, is that his international tournament finishes tomorrow. So, after tomorrow, he will move swiftly to one of the two teams. The player himself has said that he wants to move straight away. He doesn't want this to drag on any longer. He wants to get ready for pre-season. But which club he moved to? Newcastle or AC Milan? Now, I'm also seeing quite a lot of fans quite frustrated at the minute. Now, yes, it's understandable. You've got to remember we're competing with a seven-time Champions League winner here. Bearing in mind, Botman has Paolo Maldini calling him every two minutes going, oh, we, we want you AC Milan. One of the greatest, if not the greatest defender in history telling him that the one to play for AC Milan. So he's got a lot of things running through his head. And uh, yesterday, Fabrizio Romano came out saying that Newcastle are still in form. And as well as that, we've also got Pete Graves actually coming out, quoting the tweet with eye emojis. Now, one thing I will say is that when Pete Graves does that, it always makes me excited. There's a reason why. Especially when Sky Sports uh, sort of agree with Fabrizio Romano, that really does get me hyped because uh, Newcastle are wanting this move. They really do. Uh, I feel like Newcastle at the minute are... Probably slightly the favourites. I know people are going to watch this video and not be happy with the answer I'm giving you, but I can't give you a clear cut answer because I don't want to try and put people down a certain direction. It might not happen. Now, uh, I promise you, after Saturday, it will be announced straight away. Sunday, Monday, it will just be done like that and you can forget about Botman. So uh, you've just got to stick through it. Uh, one thing I'm quite disappointed by, though, is the amount of people that are slagging off Botman. I'm seeing a lot of Newcastle fans coming out and calling them every name under the sun there. Come on, let's not be ridiculous. AC Milan are by far the better club to go to on paper. The fact that we have spent months competing with a giant like AC Milan just shows how far Newcastle has come as a football club. And we've got to be realistic. We can't expect him to pick Newcastle over AC Milan. We've got Champions League football, won Serie A, have his last hand behind him, which are Paolo Maldini. I mean, we've got Dwight Gale and Kieran Clark, man. I mean, what do you expect him? Of course, we're going to struggle in this race. Anyway, guys, we'll finish off the video there. I imagine some people watch this and not be happy that there's no clear cut answers for any of the players, but that's just how it works at the minute. We're at that sort of standstill at the start of the window where time needs to be passed and uh, within the next couple of days your Botman answer will come out and that's it Botman will be out of the way we can either have him as a brand new player or focus on getting another centre half in it's just football we're not going to get all the transfer targets we want but it's just how it works uh, we're at this stage where we're still rebuilding we're not at the pinnacle of our game yet and the fact we've been competing with AC Milan for this long is just incredible Castle should be really proud regardless of what happens regarding him obviously with Hugo Ekateki we need to find out how long he's injured for but Again, this information will come out shortly and they will give us better answers and we can actually go away and know which players are coming in and which players aren't coming in. But anyway, guys, though, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. I apologise uh, for not giving you 
and these sudden answers that I don't want to put people down a path that might not be true. The last thing I want to do is promise you stuff that's not going to happen. That's what Amanda Stevie's like as well. That's why she doesn't come out with these club projections to the media because she doesn't want to let fans down in case we don't reach the goal, she says. But yeah, it's just how it works. It's how football works. I've got to come out and get these videos done. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy watching. Let me know your thoughts down below. A couple more days, don't you worry. 